getting all up in these pores. I'm glad I got my hair cut today. <laughs> Side story. Hi, my name is Rainier Pollard. I'm a comedian, fitness instructor, actor, entertainer, or anything else that'll help me pay the rent in this expensive city of Los Angeles. Six months ago, I got the record for most burpees in stilettos, which had to be at least three inches, in one minute. So when you do a burpee, you gotta put your hands right at your toes, jump your feet back at least three quarters of your body, jump back in past the line that was put right behind the palms of your hand, and jump up, a little squeeze to the butt, um, so you stand all the way up and right back down. I'd say high heels made a difference in doing the burpees because they forced you to stay on your toes, which ironically um, really made me more efficient at doing the burpees. So I'd say the heels helped people. They helped. That was the surprise. You thought they hampered me and now they made me more powerful. So go out there and put on some heels, people. I don't know if I stand by those statements. Uh, heels can actually be bad for your lower back, so to be responsible for me to admit I was joking a little bit. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I've actually got a lot of reactions off of telling people that I have a world record. Um, somebody on Facebook said I have to be more careful about what I say, because I'm a world record holder now, and that is a platform with my less than 10,000 followers on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, that's all I really want. Can I get over 10,000 followers? As a comedian, a lot of people say it as my intro before I go on stage, but I think it's an interesting way of starting the conversation before I get people laughing. Some people have called me the eighth wonder of the world. I think that as some my mother, my mother said that once, so that's a person. I stand by it. I think fun and fitness are two very essential components to have with each other. Ah! It saddens me that so many people look at fitness as a chore. It's something that needs to be a part of your life for the rest of your life. Our bodies are made to move and you should be looking forward to your opportunity in your day to move. A lot of my inspiration comes from RuPaul. I feel like I broke this record for my mother, RuPaul. Um, who doesn't know about me? I'm an illegitimate child, um, but I love her. And mom, if you're watching, thank you for everything. I hope to inspire other people, like so many other proud members of the LGBT community, um, by putting ourselves out there. We always are hoping to inspire other people to just be themselves and um, just not feel you have to make any excuses for who you are, experiment in this life, play around, push boundaries, that's what we're here for. Be nice to others, but within that rule of being nice to others, have your fun and stop caring about what other people are thinking about you. Just do you. Anybody that has a major platform, you just want to make sure you're reaching out to all sorts of communities. Like you, there's always going to be the people that are most inclined to see what you're advertising, what you're putting out there, but there's also people in small corners of the world that have all these talents that should be seen and we should be finding them and we should let them know that their voices need to be heard and their talents should be seen. Wow. You surprised me. That was a good conversation. Yeah, I'm blank. <laughs>